Good afternoon. I'm Sergeant Major Kogensparger. I'm uh, the Marine instructor here at the Ripley Union Lewis Huntington High School. And we have a Marine Corps Junior ROTC program here. And what we're talking about today is uh, some of the trips we took over uh, this past summer. In June, we uh, took a group of cadets down to Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. At Camp Lejeune, that's uh, a Marine Corps base down there. And uh, they are the host of the 2nd Marine Division and the 2nd Marine uh, Logistics Group, the uh, 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force. The purpose of taking the cadets down there uh, was to give them an orientation of what it's like to be on a Marine installation and so they could closely observe Marine and Navy life uh, as a sense of uh, the Department of the Navy. Hello, I'm Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Christian Wright. I'll be interviewing three cadets about some various camps they went to this past summer. What were some things you did at Camp Lejeune? Um, well, to start off, the beginning was mainly just learning how to live in the squad bed. One of the days we went to an Isman, which is marksmanship, and it's basically a, a big giant computer game on a screen with uh, simulated M16s, machine guns, and various grenade launchers and they're all uh, air compressed uh, type of uh, weaponry and it's uh, you uh, point at a big giant movie screen. And another day we had a canine display which the Marines brought their uh, canine dog out and they demonstrated them running through their own little obstacle course. Uh, the different types of dogs they had and the different types of jobs each dog did. Our day started at 5-0-500 in the morning uh, with physical training just like uh, the rest of the Marines in the Marine Corps and then uh, we uh, cleaned up and we moved to Chow and uh, the 6th Marine Infantry Regiment was uh, very gracious to host us and allow us to eat in their, uh, in their mess hall. Also they were able to go over and experience the uh, chemical and biological and uh, the nuclear stations and where they learned to go and uh, uh, how to prepare for uh, gas attacks and nerve agents and they had a wonderful class on that. We also were able to run this course that infantry marines run and they did little different displays where they showed us how uh, if you get some sort of chemical on you, there's different ways you can get off. There's like this type that we called the butter because basically it was just like a grease, like melted butter. Then there was another one where it was just you're rubbing charcoal on you. So we had cadets coming out of there looking all greased up like they haven't showered in six months and charcoal all over their face. It was neat. One of the more favorite ones they enjoyed was the Marine Corps Martial Arts program uh, where they uh, learned and was able to uh, participate in a few exercises in the uh, training. Uh, they were uh, shown some uh, uh, correct positions of uh, defensive positions. The 2nd Tank Battalion provided some uh, tanks for them to, uh, to uh, get inside and, and, and get on top of and crawl around and look and touch this, uh, the tanks. They actually had a tank unit come out and show us all the moving parts and basically teach us everything about a tank that they could in the amount of time we had. It was awesome. That was probably one of the most fun parts uh, of all the cadets just getting out there and getting on a live M1A1 Abrams.
in July, we took a smaller crew, a crew of eight or six, rather, uh, to the Citadel uh, in Charleston, South Carolina. Their focus, or primary focus of training down there uh, was more on cyber forensics and building robots. So I understand you went to Cyber Patriot Camp this summer. Uh, what is Cyber Patriot Camp about? Um, it's basically just going over what you can do if a virus is on your computer, um, what you can do to stop it, how that's going to affect you, everything technology. They had a great deal of uh, uh, computer time, uh, cyber time, and uh, they learned a great deal about cyber forensics. It brought me to think about how many viruses and how many people are trying to break into America and steal all our secrets. They were approximately a total of 110 cadets down there from various regions, regions one, region two, region six, and they were from various high schools from the Midwest, from Boston, all the way to the East Coast of North Carolina. Some of them were together, like I was with nobody. There was four platoons, and some of the schools would mix it up, but it's all based on your knowledge level. Probably the highlight of that trip was uh, actually building their own robots and uh, competing to see who had the best robot that could do the most uh, uh, programmed uh, movements as they programmed. Nothing was remote control, it was all pre-programmed. And once, a, once the uh, robots were turned on, they were expected to uh, do all the maneuvers that were programmed uh, into them. The third trip we took this past summer was in August, and it was in, uh, located near Boswell, Pennsylvania and it was uh, Outdoor Odyssey. So Josh, I saw you in some pictures for Camp Outdoor Odyssey. What is Camp Odyssey? Well, Camp Odyssey is kind of like, it's with RTC, but it's more of a leadership um, opportunity, like just showing all, everyone how to be, become better leaders. The students were uh, broken up into different teams with people from Boston, people from Pennsylvania, Kentucky, and Ohio and uh, they never they never really met each other before and they were thrusted into groups and they had to learn a lot about each other in a very short time. Right when we got down there, they um, lined everyone up and separated everyone. Because there's a couple people that we had that was from our school, but most of them were just new faces. Throughout the week, when we like moved to different stations or we uh, when we ate sometimes, we could like um, talk to them and see them a little bit and then there's some competitions like between the platoons that we've seen them, but for the most part, it was we just separated from them. Their activities included with the uh, leadership uh, was uh, physical training. Uh, they uh, low ropes course, high ropes course, zip lines, uh, white water rafting, and they did an eight mile hike up the Allegheny Mountains in which uh, they had to carry their own tonnage and uh, outdoor equipment, and they stayed overnight up in the Allegheny Mountain, Mountains and uh, they hike back down to uh, the facility. Some experiences that like stand out for me is um, we was on a hike and like during the, uh, like towards the end of the hike there was crash landing where an airplane crashed down and um, we just all just shared our stories like our either our backgrounds or um, different things about us and we just all bonded more like a family instead of just a group of people. Saturday that they left, uh, they all got together and they went out and ran this 5K run. And it was running through uh, the woods and crawling in mud and swimming lakes and uh, uh, all those physical challenges that uh, uh, allow them to leave on a positive note. To my understanding, Camp Odyssey was a leadership camp. How do you feel it made you a better leader? Well, I think it made me a better leader by just I'm um, not judging people by the, the outside appearances because everyone has different experiences that make them who they are today. And because of that, like we, like when we first meet somebody, we don't know all that, so we can't make a judgment upon them. So just basically get to know everyone before you um, try to before you judge people. The cadets did a phenomenal job, and uh, it just uh, made them hungry for more. So we're hopeful that next year we'll have the same opportunities for team building, leadership, and just good camaraderie and fellowship amongst the other cadets.